The blue butterfly from the original Life is Strange game has always been a point of confusion, and it's always been a question that we never got the answer to. While most people might not know the meaning of it, I think we can all agree on it that the butterfly represents Chloe. The butterfly holds a lot of symbolism from many different religions and cultures. In early Christianity, the butterfly was a symbol for the soul, and in some parts of England, the butterfly was once seen as a bad omen. Life is Strange is a game that places a lot of focus on the Native American narrative like totem poles and spirit animals and how nature almost seems to have a mind of its own. To the Native Americans, the butterfly is a symbol of change, joy, and color. The butterfly was considered a miracle of transformation and resurrection. Throughout history, the butterfly has always seemed to have some connection to death. The butterfly represents the never-ending cycle of life and death. When the butterfly comes into your life as a spirit guide, you may be going through or expect important changes in your life. More than changes to your environment, the transformation the butterfly totem points to are more internal. They could be related to your own perspective on a subject, aspects of your personality, or personal habits. When we first see the butterfly in episode 1, appropriately named Chrysalis, it's when Max discovers her rewind powers. Chrysalis refers to the transitional state Max is going through and is the state when a caterpillar starts to transform into a butterfly. This can be a sign that Max is going through a powerful transformation in her life. After Kate becomes the newest victim of Mark Jefferson, it's most likely Mark Jefferson would have set his sights on Max as a victim. I believe that the butterfly is one of the souls of Chloe from the alternate timelines, trying to help Max from ultimately becoming another victim of Jefferson, and to get justice for the death of Rachel Amber. By having Max help uncover the truth by living out what could have happened, but ultimately helping Max grow as a person. The Max at the start of the game is a quiet and timid girl. The Max at the end of the game has grown as a person and is more confident after everything she's seen and gone through. The butterfly is again seen at Chloe's funeral if you chose to save Arcadia Bay over saving Chloe's life. When Max sees the butterfly, she smiles as if to say thank you, acknowledging that Chloe will always be with her in spirit and that she can keep on living. In ancient Greece, butterflies represent the soul and it's a tribute of immortality. Chloe will always be a part of Max. To me, the butterfly has two meanings. Physically, I believe it is a version of Chloe from another timeline that knows the outcome for Max and wants to help her from becoming another victim of Jefferson. But I also believe it symbolically is Max and the transformation she's going through as a character throughout the game to become a more confident person. So guys, this was just a quick little video I wanted to put together because life is strange before the storm came out and I wanted to make a Life is Strange video and I thought, hey, why not do it about the butterfly? And that was totally unanswered in the first game. So if you like this video and maybe you want to see some smaller um, theory videos like this, please comment below. I would love to hear your opinion on what kind of theory you would like to hear about. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that stuff you hear a million times from other people on YouTube. So I'll see you guys in the next one.